How's it going guys? Welcome to a new video. This is 7 Days to Die Alpha 19. Finally. We are finally in A19. It has taken such a long time for this to happen and I'm so glad now that I'll be able to get to show you guys what Alpha 19 is all about and start a new adventure on 7 Days to Die. I've been waiting for this for the longest time and finally we are in and what did I just get here? A metal chain mod. Okay. Cool. Alright, that's our very first thing that we just got ourselves. That's awesome. But yeah, we're going to start a new Let's Play in Alpha 19. See what it's all about, and hopefully you guys are going to stick around for the ride itself, and see what we sort of get ourselves involved in as well. Now, we are on the experimental build as well, so this is not a stable build, so there may be a few things here or there that might be you know a little bit on the buggy side and all that sort of stuff so i think you know we just got to sort of take it with full you know it is what it is and hopefully uh once a stable release comes out we'll probably jump onto the stable tree and you know continue from on there but we'll see how we go with everything but right now we're in the uh tempered biome looking really really good actually the textures everything else have been changed i mean i, I know a lot of you guys may have seen this through the streamer weekend and all that sort of stuff so i'm not going to you know, um, emphasize on a lot of things, but I'm just appreciating that it looks really, really good right now. So, so far, so good. Right now, what we're doing is we're doing the standard quest line. So, everything at the minute here, don't need that anymore. I'm actually going to flick maybe him over there. I don't need that at the moment. And let's drop him onto here. And I'm actually glad that they've done the, um, the whole hunger and uh, first thing as well, just under your hotkey as well, the hotbar, sorry, and it just sort of gives you a bit of an idea as to where you are, you know, uh, food-wise and thirst-wise as well, which I actually kind of like. Uh, so let's just go ahead and pick him up and let's just drop him back into here. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to find uh, some wood, so let's go ahead and do us one of those. Stone Axe it is, here we go. Now Stone Axe is a little bit different, so I actually like the um, the whole new redesign on some of the things that I've actually seen so far. I know, I know there's going to be a, a few other bits and pieces that we haven't seen just yet, but as there will be coming in possibly future updates. But right now I'm liking some of the new texture design, I can't wait to show you guys a zombie or two. Um, some of the newer uh, design skins that they've chosen to go with, some of the animations that they do now um, is actually really, really cool. So, yeah, I can't wait to show you guys with that. Um, and right now, we're going to craft these two bad boys in here. There's a little piggy over there, which, um, as we know from previous authors, we're definitely not going to tangle with them day one. But not yet, though. Not, there, not yet, but let's grab some of the feathers if we can find more that would be fantastic and I did actually do a bit of a test play as well as I was sort of uh, mucking about just sort of trying to get a feel for things before I started the let's play during the week because I wanted to do this you know straight away but you know unfortunately with commitments and all that sort of stuff wasn't able to do any of that but now that we can, um, one thing I noticed, um, which was a little bit buggy for me, and I'm probably going to stay away from it, is the bow. And the bow, I was trying to do a bit of a, a bit of an aiming uh, on a on a zombie. No, actually, it was a deer. What am I saying? It was a deer. And what had happened was, my screen was tilting from left to right. It was the weirdest thing ever. And. Yeah, and suffice to say that I'm not too sure if I want to run with a bow just yet. I mean, I'll hang on to it. And if, yeah, you know, if that's the case, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Actually, I want to create a little bit more. We'll do 15. There we go. Cool. And I'll just hang on to those there. And I might actually put you to the side just here. That'll do. Okay. Boom, and we need to get some a stone. I need to find a stone node somewhere. Not too sure where. I can see a town just over there, which is really good. But I need to find some stone. So I can make myself a campfire. If I can find some, hopefully. I'll quickly just jump up here to see what is up here anyway. Very rocky terrain that I've actually spawned into, so we'll see how this goes. 
Not too sure if I'm going to like this or not. I have no clue, but right now there is absolutely no stone. Where the hell is all the stone here? I'm going up the wrong path here. I should probably get back down to the road, maybe. Might be a good idea if I do that. Okay, so stone-wise, I'll take the snowberries just in case, because right now I don't have any food on me, so aside from, you know, your starting can and all that sort of stuff, but want to make sure I have everything I can just to sort of get me going. I can't find any stone. Man, the terrain is so lush at the moment. Oh, this, this is... Oh, that's not it. You know what? That looked like a stone from afar. I had no idea that was weird. Alright. Um, um, okay. I can't find... Oh, we, well, we've got some more feathers, so... And some eggs and all, and all that sort of stuff, so that's actually a really good thing. Food is food at the end of the day, so I may as well just grab what I can grab as well. Now, I am playing on a Nomad as well. Loot Abundance is at standard. Um, you know, everything else is pretty much... Oh, here we go. Everything else is pretty much standard, so... For the most part. So that's all I pretty much sort of roll with. I don't really change or deviate or any, anything away from the standard standard guide. I just like a little bit more in terms of a um, you know, difficulty and all that sort of good stuff. But otherwise, um, yeah, she's pretty stock standard. So it is a random generated world as well. So it's not a NAVS game or anything like that, as you probably would have guessed it. But... Um, I did play a, um, a pre-gen back in Alpha 18, and look, it was good, I liked it, but I, I always said as soon as I start another let's play, it's going to be random gen straight up, and that's what I'm doing, so random gen, here we go. Oop, need to repair this fella here, here we go. Alright, and yeah, I just want to grab the rest of this, you know, don't want to leave it, you know, um, half done, the job that is, so... Let's grab the rest of this. We'll create our little um, campfire and hopefully we'll get the coordinates to the trader. Head over to the trader and then we'll probably start exploring and all that sort of good stuff. Campfire, boom. All right, so let's head over to where the road was. Just over here. I don't know how far I wandered over. Okay. So it's just over here. I think I um, put the little, there you are. Okay, and I like to put you on top, don't know why, it's just what it is. Okay, so we, awesome, we are heading into town now, so about 400 meters under now, away from the trader, and yeah, see what is all about at the trader guy, alright, alright buddy, oh you're the same, you haven't really changed have you? Come on. Yep. And we've got a backpack. And alright, I will definitely wear those. For sure. Alright, let's see the old tradie guy. See if he's got anything interesting for us as well. Something to aspire to. We'll grab a a um a quest as well. We'll jump on that. And hopefully, yeah. You know what we'll probably do, um, I don't know if there's like a buried supply. Oop, oh, I can't pick you up. Okay. Protected. But this is kind of neat. The way that they implemented it now, they've put it into town, which is kind of cool. I like that. Okay. Hopefully, this will be a good trader that has working stations. No? You're destroyed? I'll take that. <clears throat> Anything over here? No. Nothing over there. Uh, vending machine. Ah, oh, that's right. And you got the um, the candy now as well, so they give you certain buffs. So we got bartering ten percent plus duration for ten minutes. Food five. Okay, cool. Do you work? No, you're destroyed. But you got some stuff for me, which is always good. Uh, what's in here? You know what? You can easily miss that. You can, yeah, someone's already beating down the door there. What's in here? Motor parts, alright. I really want some schematics, that'll be really helpful. Um, you know what? We're gonna wear those. We're gonna scrap those. We're gonna take those. Not too sure if there's anything else up here for me to take. I don't believe there is. Unfortunately, this is not one of the, um, 
the best place is to grab things here or there, but all the same. Um, and I don't think can we drop ourselves in? We can't. If you got the dukes, I'll make the time. Oh, hey, look, there's Trader Jen, and <laughs> whoop, and if you hadn't noticed there, I am sort of looking down. The the goods there. <laughs> Uh, you know, one for the boys, I guess. Um, Alright, let's see what else is over here. Okay, nothing there. All good. And there sh should be a cement mixer somewhere. Yes? There is. There we go. And just want to see what's in here. Okay, so a bit of stone, a bit of sand. Something to get us started with. Hello, Trader Gen. Yeah, you're looking... A lot better than the previous offers, that's for sure. Any jobs? All right, you need some work? Supply. Oh, Don't. I would kiss you, but, um, you yeah. know, apocalypse hygiene and all. Yeah, okay, <laughs> that's hilarious. But let's see what you got real quickly just before we head off. If there's anything that is interesting. And if there is, well, you know, something to sort of work to. Uh, got a beaker, that's cool. Um, nothing, nothing, nothing. So far, nothing. And nothing that I really want early game. Okay, well, look, there's a bike chassis there. Maybe so next time I'll have what you need. I might end up getting the bicycle as soon as I can. Ooh, a bit of like that. Hey, what are you doing? You can't just go around and, you know, annoyed everyone. Jesus. And I'm out of stamina. Alright. I like the way that they move around now. It looks so cool. And he's enraged. A little bit. And I can't even actually knock him down. There we go. And then we've got this buddy over here. Hey, buddy. And I think they do a, a new little animation. They, well, he does the same. But I think they use both arms now. Sort of like a hugging mechanism. I don't know. It, it's weird, but... Look, he just stays, like his head just stays, you know, focused on you, which is so cool. They never used to do that back in the day, so, kind of neat. I like it. Um, we're going to need a shovel, won't we? Stone shovel, here we go. So, we'll get that bad boy crafted up. We're going to have to head over to the, uh, to where the burial place is, so we can hopefully, oh, Jesus. Did not even see you there. Look at you. So these are the crawlers now. They're completely dismembered as well. That looks so good. <laughs> yeah, this game is coming a long way. Has come a long way, I should say. Right. Ooh, oh my god, this is not going to go down well. Really? Are you serious? I'm not going to be able to get into this today. I'm going to have to essentially go underground to actually find this thing. And I'm going to have to bust open the ground just to make that happen. That, That is ridiculous. But I actually kind of like what they've done with the whole um, the whole ring around everything as well. So my understanding is if you, um, uh, if you dig, I think, at least 10 spaces, it automatically circles in. And you should be able to find... Oh, sorry, it moves in. So at least this way you can... Um, I've got, to, I've got to be very careful with this as well. But yeah, you can actually um, go in and pretty much it circles in. So the um, the perimeter of that circle closes in until you actually find the uh, hidden treasure, which is good. It's actually really good. So yeah, I'm actually really happy that I've done something like that. It makes life a little bit easier, a little bit more enjoyable actually. So yeah, I'm just hoping I don't have to dig all my way through. So, we'll see how we go. Alright, so there we go. Found it. So, let's just go ahead and open her up. Okay. Let's get out of crouch mode and let's get the hell out of here. Because I left a bit of a hole there. I'm going to have to repair that, I reckon. I don't know. We'll see how we go with that. But I don't think we'll um, hang about. We don't have the actual stamina here. But we'll um, try and make our way back home, I guess. Or oh, sorry, back to the trader here. And we're actually going to find a, a place to sort of stay at. I don't know where I'm actually going to stay. Honestly, I'm not too really particularly sure. But, you know, we'll um, we'll investigate. But I just wanted to quickly do a um, 
a quick little um, quest there and get some reward, I guess, at the end of the day and see exactly what we get our, ha our hands on. Actually, is there something I can jump into the Daring Adventure straight away? If I can do that, so I think that gets, yeah. Yeah, so I'll want to get that first. And if I, what do I need to do? I need level four for that. All right, well, look, you know what? I may as quickly uh, check out what I want to do. I want to get, well, before we start, we've got you here. Hey, thank you. Uh, go back into, oop, no, go back into here. And let's see. Uh, what do I want, actually? What do I want? So I think cardio is going to be one thing I want. And healing factor, I'm thinking about healing factor. I'll get the sexy Rex there. And you know what? I think I might do lucky looter. Where was lucky looter? I had it before. It was there before. And uh, I don't know. I know I had it. Oh no, that's oh there we go. Cool. Yep. And I think we could. And I'm gonna have to dump it somewhere, so at least this way. So quite is cool. So the double tap still works, which is good. Okay. If you got the dukes, I'll make the time. Alright, what I might need is I think I might just keep that. That'll be the best thing to do. Any more? Wow, these guys are a, a long way away. I've got just the job for someone with your talents. Well, Do hurry. I have a protection payment coming up soon. Cool. So we'll just go ahead and accept that. And there's a clear quest a little bit further down there. But I was interested to see this little house over here. But I need to find a place where I can do a quick little drop chest and hopefully um, you know, keep it protected, I guess. Oh, okay. I thought that was a little bit more of a, um, a POI that had a perimeter around it, like a, like a wall. I could have used that as a good first base. Ah, uh, that doesn't matter. It looks pretty fortified. I mean, wh what is this place? Are these like cubicles? Ah, oh, these are like um, portable public toilets, I guess. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, cool. Interesting. It's got the play area over there. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Makes a se all the sense in the world. And yeah, okay. Cool. I really gotta dump this um this drop chest here and I think I might just drop it here. Yeah, let's do that. Because I'll know exactly where it is. And I'm gonna dump all this. I've got some food actually, which is good. So we should be alright for the foreseeable time. Uh, get rid of that that for now. Yeah, let's see. I don't want any of these. Actually, you know what? A lot of these I don't really need, to be honest with you. But what I might do is... I might just keep that. Oh, no. You know what? I'll keep that there. Cool. And you know what? That's an extra one. Cool. What I might do is I might just drop this over here, because I know where everything is. Just for now. <laughs> and until... Oh, okay. You just kind of rolled out of nowhere, didn't you? All right, well let's let's uh, let's look after you right now. Come here, come on, buddy. Okay, cool. Ooh, loot bag. First loot bag. All right, what do we get? Oh, okay. We've got a blunderbuss. We've got some pretty good nifty things. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and reload this fella. Because, you know, why the hell not? Because if we need it, well, we've got it, I guess. And I think that's what the, um, the Fumpins, Fumpins, sorry, who were trying to do. They weren't going to try and get us, um, you know, our way to, uh, good weapons straight away kind of thing. So, you know, with that being said, I think the, the grind is going to be a little bit, you know, a little bit more harder, a little bit more, you know, fun as well at the same time, so I'm actually really up for it, so which is good. Uh, 
so let's do this. So we're going to have to clear the areas here. And there doesn't seem to be anything that I can find for myself, unfortunately. Okay, cool. Alright, well, let's head up and see what's what. Hello. Ooh, got a medical pile. Just some empty jars. Anything over here that I'm missing? No. Well, the <coughs> this place has got some cobblestone too, which I can always come back for, which is a good thing for me. Especially early game as well. Alright, there we go. Nope. Nothing else there. Oh, okay. I think I remember this. Oh yes, I want that ammo pile. What do I get out of this? Ooh. Yeah, just as well I got that ammo pile. Nice. Alright, well for now, I think I might modify you and just drop you into that until I actually find a decent weapon. And I know that you're going to be... There's going to be some zombies in here. Yeah, okay. See, this is where I probably should have had the, um, the bow. And now that the fact that I don't have the bow, this is not going to be a fun time for me. Just for the whole sneak attack us. There we go. Okay, there we go. Just fucking just take her out as soon as possible. And then whoever's coming out around the corner, look at you. Okay. Looks like you had a recent haircut, didn't you? Cool. Alright, I think we handled that pretty well. Look at this bookcase. What's in here? Hunter's journal. Cool. Anything else here? Oh, what's that? Alright, cool, cool, cool. Oop, jump over here. What do we have here? Nothing. And let's open up this fella here. Let's see what's in here. Do we get a tall pistol? That'd be fun. Uh, nah, nothing there. Uh, just in case, I'll take that. And, okay, uh, oh, okay, cool. So you can tell, it tells us exactly where the zombies are, and so instead of on the, on the heads up there. So that's cool, I like that. Let's quickly repair this fella. See what's in here, just a whole bunch of jars. It'd be nice if I find actually a teapot. That would be very helpful. Day one, that'd be really, really helpful. Uh, nothing there. Just a whole bunch of cans, some nitrate. Actually, a decent amount of nitrate I think I'm finding here. Yeah, got 32 so far. Okay, nothing here, nothing here. And what's there? Backpack? What do you have for me? Ooh, herbal biotics? Antibiotics? That's right. I remember this P.I.Y. you got to go downstairs. <laughs> but you know what? A decent... I've woken up the... Oh, Jesus. I've woken up the neighbourhood here. And I'll just let you tumble down. Okay, come on, lady. And got the other zombies over there. Got a decent amount of cobble. I'm gonna have to come back here and pick up a whole bunch of stuff here. Some cement as well, which is good. Nothing over here. Anything here? What do we have? Nothing. And. Ooh. Alright, I think this is where all the yellow is, so we've got a nurse. Oop. Okay. We've got this big fella here. Knock you out. Running out of stamina. That's alright, we should be alright. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just get this stamina regen. And there we go. How good's that? Don't know if there's anyone else around here though, that's the thing. Oh no, we, we've cleared it. That's good. Actually, you know what? This might actually not be a bad... bad place for... base of operations. I don't know. I haven't decided that yet, but... It could be alright. Back that. Drop, and I think all the loot should be up here somewhere, maybe. Okay, unlocked. It's actually a nice little way through. Okay. 
And where does this lead me to? Okay, we're all the good looters. Actually, you know what? This... I might break a few things down there just so I can... Um, what do you call it? Just so I can sort of spend the night here. I think this is probably a good place to sort of do so. Actually, not bad. What do we have here? Okay, Shamway. Got some bullets. We've got a working stiff. We've got a better shovel than what I have compared to... Absolutely. So, we'll go scrap you and... Hello, better shovel. Okay, what do we have here? And, okay, more blunderbuss more bits and pieces, and I'm actually going to wear that. This... I'll just take all of that. And, yeah. Actually, not doing too badly with this, but you know what? I think I actually might make this home. I'm going to keep all the blunderbuss stuff here. I might leave all this there. And, yeah. See, I, I don't think I'll need any of that just at the minute. Shouldn't need any of that to carry with, so... I'll definitely keep it all. You know what? Let's just dump a lot. Oh, now I'll keep the food on me. And that can go, that can go. That can go, that can go, that can go. Definitely, that can go. Oh no, I'm full. <laughs> all good. All good. So I just dropped you in there. I probably should have done that in the first place. But I think I actually might make this maybe home. I don't know. Maybe first night. Yeah. I'm just going to have to um, do something about this. Break all this out and... Yeah, but that might be good. Anyway, I think it would be a good time to go ahead and leave today. So, look, if you guys ended up enjoying this one, please uh, hit the like button there, comment down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, you're enjoying Alpha 19, um, you want to see more, yeah, consider subscribing and hitting that notifi uh, sorry, notification bell icon so, you know, you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway, guys, take it easy, and I will catch you guys next time.